it's not, this is not. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, friends. I'm looking for a perfect place to start this vlog. Uh, see you in a few minutes or seconds. No, not yet. Oh, I think this is the perfect place. Hello, friends. Hello, everyone. Father Vic here going back again to the blogging I have to finish what I've started that I had shoot last April so vlog starts in three two one wake up call it's 2 30 a.m. Pero kung maghahambal kaya ako nang hambalan mo. Ah, anong hambalan mo? Ay, siyempre, guwapo tayo. All right. Bound for Ah, tawag ka. Abante na muna ng obispo. Thank you. You're no longer alone. Waiting for uh, something. <laughs> I'm already hungry.
bako niya ng distillation, kung doon na may mga problema ng mga bot na dili malikayan, hopefully, ang mga kalantiki dili ilansan sa Cross si Marvin. Kung dili, masipitan ka nila ang ilang mga prayers or malamasan ang bukat ng problema. Anyway, history has been made and made Bishop Marvin Maceda in his new diocese will convert more believers and followers for the glittery glory of God. For the Diocese of Navarre, Mabuhay and congratulations for producing the first bishop in the province of Bigilan and the first priest in the Diocese of Davao to be ordained as bishop. Congratulations sa atong kanil. His Excellency, uh, the Most Reverend Gabriel Giordano Katia, Papal Nuncio to the Philippines. His Excellency, Most Reverend Romulo Valles, CBC President and Archbishop of the da of, uh, Davao. His Excellency, the Metropolitan of the Ecclesiastical Province of Haro in Ilo, uh, Archbishop Romulo Lasso. His Excellency, the Metropolitan of the Ecclesiastical Province of Colo, uh, Archbishop John M. Du, my dear brother bishops, my dear brother priests, dear religious sisters, brothers and sisters, maayong gabi din ang tanahan. Two things. Number one, since the time of my calling to the seminary and my ordination to the diaconate and the priesthood, I have realized that I, my life did not belong to me anymore. It belonged to God. And that is why, when the papal news you pulled me up last December 24 at 9.30 in the morning to announce to me uh, the good news, um, I have come to realize that this is just one of the series of callings of the Lord for me to serve Him, to honor and glorify Him. This is not me, it is not I, it is Jesus. That is why when I, when the time came for me to decide my Episcopal motto, it was, it was easy. Servus of Jesus Christ, slave of Jesus Christ. From Romans 1, verse 1, the Apostle Paul would always introduce himself as the slave of Jesus, as the servant of Jesus. A slave has no identity. A slave has no, compared to a servant, a slave has no wage, has no identity, has nothing for himself. And that's how I see myself in front of Jesus. It is he who calls. I just respond. So that this is his calling. And I fully entrust myself into his hands. Through the help of the Blessed Mother, of course, whom I love so dearly, whom we love so dearly. When I, when the, when the Papal Lucio asked me, do you accept? I said, Papal Lucio, I have no ecclesiastical degrees. I have no MAs and PhDs. And then I think the inspiration also came from him. When he said, you know what, Marvin, Father Marvin, remember my name is Gabriel. Like the angel people announcing to Mary the good news. And I caught the inspiration. And I said, Yes, Your Excellency, I accept the nomination in the humility and faith of the Blessed Mother. And so here I am, in the name of Jesus and through the intercession of the Blessed Mother. I take it upon myself the words of St. Paul in Galatians. It is no longer I that live, but Jesus lives in me. I still live my human life, but it is a life full of faith in the reason. Secondly, I would like to thank the Lord for giving you to me, because your presence tonight and tomorrow is a confirmation of this calling. Without you, the calling would have, you know, uh, 
but with your presence, I know I am loved and I know I am whole. With the presence of the people, Lucio representing the Holy Father, the bishops who are here, I know you are tired, but I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, the Reverend Fathers from here, especially from the Diocese of Antique, thank you for coming over. It is such a long way, but here you are. Ato silang pangkapan kalibo. I truly am grateful for your presence tonight and tomorrow. My dear brother classmates from the Bukatok of San Jose Seminary, thank you for coming over. My dear brother priests from the Ecclesiastical Province of Palo, my fellow Josefinos, and all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, thank you for coming over. This is just the best verse, a preparation for tomorrow. The celebration has started already, and uh, the finale will be tomorrow. Let us join ourselves, let us be one in offering this celebration, honoring God, not me, honoring God, thanking God for the gift of the priesthood, for the gift of salvation that iyang hatang natuntanan, pinaagi na ini na ministry. And so, we thank God and we thank you, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good evening. Congratulations, and we wish you all the best as you embark on an important milestone in your relations. Yes, and friends, that completes our welcome program and testimony. Well, what can you say? I am Carol Rampong, and the one of the Catholic School of Alaba, managed by the, the grace of God is Percy. really here. Thank you very much. <laughs> the MC's last word for today's gathering is thank you and God bless. And I think it's also the best way to end this vlog. Thank you and God bless. See you next time. By the way, I forgot to ask. Do my favor. Comment below. What would be the title of this vlog? What would be the title? Okay, this is the final the end. Not the. No, no. This is it. Three, two, one.